This episode of Techzilla is brought to you by Domain.com. Can you get a decent Android tablet for under 100 bucks? I'm talking new here, not used. Mobile Geek has an answer. Nicole Scott and Sasha Pallenberg travel the world and actually spend a lot of time in Shenzhen picking up inexpensive tablets. $30 to $90 for an Android tablet, brand new, totally functional. It's not like a brick in a box. It's an actual cool piece of hardware. Absolutely not. We, we picked this one up for $47. That's a nice piece of hardware. What are we talking about for, for processors inside of these tablets? This is running on an ARM Cortex A8, one gigahertz, like the first Samsung Galaxy tab that came out about uh, two years ago. It still uh, sports the same GPU as mm -hmm. the Galaxy S3, for example. Of course, it's a little bit underclocked. It's running Android Ice Cream Sandwich. Uh, you have a Google Play Store access, and you can run Angry Birds and all of these other games on it. So this is actually, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of curious, right? So the, you're looking at this. I'm looking, thinking about a $159 Kindle Fire. What's the big, or a $200 Kindle Fire HD? What's the big difference between something that's 50 bucks and something that's 150, 200 bucks? With some, some, something like this, it's really the, the display. Uh -huh. I mean, this only has a, what is it, 840? 800 by 600. Yeah, 800 by 600 resolution, so it's nowhere near, near HD. And if we, like, if we really take a look at some photos, it's just not as brilliant sure. as what we would see on the, on, on the Kindle or the Amazon or even the Nexus. So it's definitely the display that we're giving out. So we were talking earlier, and you said in, the, in China and Shenzhen, there are literally hundreds, if not thousands, of different models of tablets. Yeah. It's like somebody finds, oh, I got some ARM processors, I got some cheap you know, glass over here, I assemble it, I create a model, I do a run of it, and then it's like they sell them and you never see them again? Or? Well, 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 pretty much what, what, what you can do, you can just head over to Shenzhen uh -huh. and get in one of these stores and ask them uh, if they can build a tablet for you. And they're going to do this from scratch in 30 days, right, until they're starting to ship. You get a huge catalog, you can uh, uh, search for an SOC and a graphic card, and uh, what kind of screen you want to get, what kind of case, how much memory, and there you go. And in 30 days, they're ready to ship. So, you know, I'm here. I want to start my tablet store with my tablet. I, I fly to China. I get to Shenzhen. I basically, I make an order. I just cut them a check and go back home. Yeah. That's pretty really funny. <laughs> and they're going to ship it over Hong Kong and then over here to San Francisco. And their motto usually is as many features for as low a price. I mean, like they just want to cram as much as they can in, and they'll, they'll cut corners for sure, but they, they, they just want to jam as much in as they can. Well, w when we talk about features, because I, I hear sort of a features, like, you know, are we talking about like toilet paper dispensers, or what are we talking about as features? Because I'm a little frightened when people use that word. It's always a little scary. Well, it's definitely things like sometimes full size USB, micro mm -hmm. USB, sometimes they have two USBs, one's a host, one's not. They definitely want to put like micro, micro, micro SIM cards in there, mm -hmm. micro SD cards. They kind of want as many connectors as you can, whereas for something like the, the Kindle, mm -hmm. like it's got no connectors. So, you know, it's just, it's give, it's, it's give and take. You, you get a lot more, but you can't right. give up the display. Well, cool. in that case, right, because Amazon wants you to basically use their services yeah. and tie you into your Amazon Prime, you know, payment every year, every month. That's actually really funny. I mean, could, if so, if I wanted to, I get like, assuming the hardware was supported, you get six micro SIM slots. Well, or if you want to. If you want to, you have to yeah. pay a premium. <laughs> or if you want to have a, a slimmer version like this one with our logo on the back, um, or an aluminum case, um, then it starts at like sixty dollars, and then you also get uh, HDMI out. So these are really decent tablets. That's actually pretty amazing. So I, I, I'm kind of curious. You were at an IDF last week. You know, any excitement? What was the big news for you? Do you guys even care at this point? Like Intel's like, we're going to be in mobile if we have to kill everyone. I mean, right? Because that's they so desperately. Adam's kind of end of life. They have a new CPU design that's supposed to go from like phones to supercomputers. Do you guys see them catching up to the ARM? Oh, they will. I mean, at all, or? x86 still has a huge advantage over our RISC uh, architecture. Mm -hmm. I think our Intel is about three generations ahead of ARM. Sure. Right? And they, can, they, can already, or they already proved it with their first uh, Medfield uh, Atom phones that they can definitely uh, beat ARM on a single right. core architecture, right? <laughs> of course, it's, it still has to evolve, right? right. But um, if you're asking me what was new on IDF, you know, what was new in 2012? Nothing. I think it was the most predictable tech year of them all. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, we're gonna, so basically, we're going to have a new architecture. We don't have much yeah. this year. Well, yeah. actually, the one thing I think we have to think about when we think about Intel smartphones is that they're not going for the high end, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. They're not. They're not competing for the like, like with you right. know Tegra or any of these. They're going for what's going to be the, the the biggest slice of the 3G pie, right? The, Which the is the buckets of Shenzhen tablets <laughs> that are being sold in India and everywhere else. No, it's uh, all the people who are just getting onto 3G now, mm -hmm. right? Like yeah. this is where we're going to see like another what, I think 350 million users next year. Sure. Right, and 
in, Intel's going for this piece of the pie. I mean, they're they're going for really long battery life, decent graphics at a really affordable price, right? Yeah. And I think that's right. kind of the key is that they're they're kind of going for that one hundred to two hundred dollar. It's a hundred fifty dollar uh, right. fifty dollar smartphone with yeah. Intel coming out next year. And is that part yeah. of sort of the global? I mean, that's that's where that's the future of computing, right? Because we talk about it here, but everybody's like, no, yeah, Galaxy S three or, or or you know iPhone five, and we're paying like an annual salary for the people that are going to be buying right. a fifty dollar tablet. Yeah. I mean, well, I mean, like, so Intel at, at, at IFA, in, Intel announced a, a partnership with ZTE with the mm -hmm. Grand XIN, right? So ZTE, to me, I think makes the most solid mid range handset. Like, if you don't care about phones and mm -hmm. you just want to throw your phone against a wall all the time because that's just your <laughs> habit, and I, I'm not going to suggest that you get the S3, I'm going to suggest that you get a mid range ZTE for mm -hmm. 100 bucks, that's going to go through the wars because mid range handsets, they're, they're, they're built to last because that, that's the user demographic. So ZTE handsets, are those even? Been sold in the United States, or is that another they thing? Will. They okay. will. They will. They will. They're going to really? be super aggressive, like Huawei. Yeah. So if I'm looking for, you know, unless I'm buying in bulk by going over there and getting one made, <laughs> or I'm on Alibaba.com, if I want to get a $50 Android tablet, where do I find one? I, I would go to AliExpress.com. Yeah, AliExpress. I think that's the easiest way. If you just want to buy a single unit, mm -hmm. you can get it over there on Alibaba.com. You need to buy like 200 or 2,000 or whatever. Audio Express. I'm going to get some like cable connectors. I'm going to get some mid-range drivers. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to get a $50 tablet. This is actually I'm excited. I have a new I have a new way to piss away money on consumer electronics. This is not good. MobileGeeks.com's website. What's coming up in the next week? We should point users towards. Well, we're going to be putting up our top ten concept phones video. Mm -hmm. So we've 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 gone we've gone through like tons and tons of concept phones, working with some of these guys on some of the forums, and they've come up with some really slick designs. So we're publishing a video on that this week. Cool. Mm -hmm. And we also finally doing our review of the Kindle Fire HD that yeah. arrived yesterday. Yeah. And so we're comparing it to other seven-inch tablets, maybe even to the one that I only. Is is, is the screen yeah. worth an extra hundred and fifty dollars? Um, yeah, well, it's yeah. also a dual core processor, right? <laughs> yeah. it, 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 it's on a different level right. if you compare to those. But these are good enough tablets. And the Kindle Fire HD, I wouldn't even call it a tablet for me, it's like an electronic shopping window. Yeah, electronic absolutely. shopping window. MobileGeeks.com is West Night, ladies and gentlemen. Nicole and Sasha are the people you saw here today. Do us a favor, go check out that site, MobileGeeks.com. More Techzilla coming right up, but before we do that, let's take a moment to thank one of our sponsors. Sometimes the hardest part of building a website is coming up with a name. You want something catchy, you want it to be unique. You know what isn't hard? Going with a .com domain name because no matter what you choose, chances are people are automatically going to type in the .com. Globally understood and it immediately gives credibility to any website. And the easiest place to get a .com is domain.com. It's the best place to go for your next great idea. Find a new .com domain at domain.com. Here on the show, we like domain.com because they're affordable, reliable, easy to use and dependable. Plus, Domain.com's active social media present on Twitter, at Domain.com, and great customer support make it a fun place to do your business. And because you're so awesome, Domain.com's going to give you an awesome coupon code, 20% off Domain.com's already low prices. Just type in the coupon code TECHZILLA when you check out at Domain.com and score 20% off, people. That is big time savings. Don't forget, give the TechZilla coupon code some love when you get your next domain at Domain.com, and you'll be getting yourself a great deal while you support the show. When you think domain names, do us a favor, think domain.com. And notice that's a .com, not a .whatever that three-letter code was you just saw.